watched some of our other videos, you've noticed that our hay trolley is a key piece of equipment that helps us run our farm here. Using it isn't always easy, but it's really cool. But using 100-year-old stuff does come with its disadvantages. This is actually the original trolley that's always been used on this farm. And although restoring it was one of the easiest projects we've had yet, getting up there is not the easiest. Fortunately, I've got a brother-in-law who was willing to help us get the trolley down in the first place. Though it took a bit of effort to get it off the track, it was plenty easy to clean up. Well, one out of four. One out of four. And within a couple hours, we were able to have it greased, painted, and ready to go again. So here is the hay trolley after we've refinished it. They're all in roller bearings, and so we completely dismantled those. Same with the main pulley. They're all greased up. And everything is still is functioning properly there. So we just had him put it right back up for us, and that summer we were able to pull in just about four ton of hay without any problems. Well, not quite without any problems. See, there was this dip in the track. And after a while, that dip just became worse and worse. So we knew we were going to have to go up there. Fortunately, we've got some great neighbors who lent us a 40-foot ladder, other neighbors who lent us a climbing harness for safety, and another neighbor who's a braver than I am, who was willing to climb up to the top and help secure the ladder in place. Welcome to the very limit of my comfort zone. I hate heights. And right now I'm at quite a height of heights. So we're about 35 feet up, and the reason is because, as lovely as this hay trolley is, the track that it rides on has been getting worn a bit. All of these cross beams um, had cracked and then started pulling free, so that they're starting on a diagonal. Some of the further ones down are a little bit too, but this is where it got really bad. Right where these tracks join, we had a big dip, and every time the trolley was just hitting harder on it. So we have created our own little J bolt. It's now late, but we are done with this section. That's as good as I'm going to get those screws. I don't have the leverage. And then we've got that one, and we've got one more right here. And so that should work. So we just found out that the trolley is getting hung up on something. I don't know what. It's past the halfway point of the trolley for any new hardware. I don't know if the track ends are bent up a bit. An hour or two of putting everything back up so we can go see what's up. And I'm back up here. So this appears to be the issue. This is slightly misaligned to that and that wheel is hitting on it. The first wheel seems to make it past, but then the second wheel gets jammed is our guess. So we are probably going to try to grind this so that they're campered together a little better.
Now we'll test it. Yep, keep pulling on. Now we are getting a lot more efficient and we can unload about 700 pounds, which is one truckload, in around 30 minutes. But it's been a long road getting here. Originally, we just threw tarps in the back of the truck and filled them with a pitchfork. Then we pulled those up into the barn by attaching them to a block and tackle that ran along a little steel cable that we had run halfway up the barn. Basically, it was a no budget trolley and sling setup. This worked fine for two tons. Now that we've got the real trolley running, we're up to 250 to 350 pounds per load. And it's a lot less intense manual labor than even unloading hay bales. It just takes a lot longer. So now we've got the trolley up and running and we can say that we've done it. It is pretty neat and it's a great experience to have, but right now there's a $1,500 baler on Craigslist. And the big question is, is this how we really wanna do it? Or do we want to go something a little more modern? Check out our next video to see a review of living with a hay trolley on a daily basis. Is it really worth it? And does it really work for our land? Hi, I'm Simon. And I'm Heather, and we call this Cozy Cow Farm. We're not really farmers. But I'm a farmer. We just bought the farmhouse with the land, ooh, ooh. got some chickens, <laughs> then we added some cows. And we're still trying to figure out what we're doing. So subscribe to join us on our journey of trying to learn this. Or comment and let us know what you'd like to see. Yeah.